Honda CBR 600 RRW 1998. Okay, what have we got? Front tyre to Michelin. Uh, it's probably about two mil, maybe two and a half mil in there. Bear in mind they start out new, I'd say two. Probably start out new with four, so it's about halfway through its life. Front guard, this side, and the front is all cool. No damage, no marks. Discs, well you would expect, unless it's got fantastically high mileage. They're all good. Headlamp, okay. No chips or cracks. Top fairing. Okay, that's all good. No chips, no marks. This front leading edge, which would show if it's been down. No damage there. The brake lever, slight little mark on the end, but it isn't from being slid. The right hand handlebar weight, that's all good. It's not been slid. The right hand mirror, has got some tiny little marks on it, as has the top of this right hand mirror. But I suspect, if I had to have a guess, I don't know, this is from the guy getting it through his garden gate or something, because as we go on to look at the rest of it, the bearing is all good here. We have a couple of tiny little scratches. These ones just go through the decal. Well, they don't go for the deco, is what I'm saying, is they're, they're into the deco. This one here is a bit larger. You see by the size of my thumb now, the size we're talking about. That does actually go through the paint, but it's not a slide mark, because they're kind of, there's some going in and some, you know, I don't know what the story is there. It's not terrible. Uh, tank, on this side, it's all cool, no damage. Uh, seat panel. Again, it's all good. We're looking for damage here if it's been slid, which it hasn't got. The rear brake lever, no damage, no slight damage. Right hand peg, no slight damage. Original exhaust, leading edge is all good. It's all good along its length, there's no dents or bangs, and it's all good on the end here. Pillion peg, it looks unused, to be honest, but almost brand new. No marks on that. Uh, rear indicator is all good. That's got a funny, I don't know what this is going on here. I don't know, maybe it's some marks or damage from a luggage strap or something. Other than that, this, this seat panel is all good. I don't know quite what the story is there. So the paintwork on the whole is up there. Uh, it's got a Bridgestone on the rear which is, I'm going to get in close because this exhaust is going to drum me out. I'd say again, it's probably, I don't know, about halfway through its life. It's probably got three or four million there. And what they start out with, I don't know, seven. About halfway through its life, but it's good. Not wearing out next week or anytime soon. Uh, there we are. Let's go look at the left-hand side. And here we are, the view from the sunny left-hand side. Coming back down for another view on this front tyre, this Michelin. Say, uh, I don't guess it's halfway through its life, two mil. Front guard, it's all good, no bangs or dings in there. Uh, headlamp we've already covered. Top fairing on this side, it's all good. There's no, oh, there's tiny, actually, uh, you won't, you're absolutely not going to see this in, in the video, I, I doubt, but I can feel it slightly rough there but um, it's not from a slide as you'll see with a when I go over the rest of the bike but it does feel slightly rough I, I, I can't see it maybe he's I don't know, maybe it's caught it somewhere and he's painted it you can't see it but you can feel it um, this left hand mirror same story as the other side really it's got marks on the top and that's not terrible but if it was my personal bike, I think I'd change them both because it just lets the bike down. But um, it just, I don't know, looks like he's been forced it through his gate or something. Clutch lever's all good. Uh, this mirror, 
like the other one, but they, they do, because they stick out so far on bikes, they do tend to get clumped on the end when you go past vans at 90 mile an hour. But, um, again, I, I think I'd probably, ch I'd probably change that. It's not terrible, or I'd rub it down and paint it. But there we are, I'm pointing out the bleeding obvious. Top pair and the rest of it is okay, okay. A couple of tiny little marks on it here. They would tea cut out, but I'm not doing that, I'm not hiding anything up. A couple of tiny little marks. Uh, coming down here, the generator cover. Again, it's got, it's got some tiny marks there. They, they, you, you could rub it down. You could spray that over, nobody would know. I'm not doing it, I haven't done it. But there we are, it has got a tiny little mark there. Again, there it go. Rest of the fairing is all good. The tank on this side, like the other, is all good. No marks there. This left hand seat panel, yep, that's all cool. It's all good. This 600 it, um, graphic has got some marks in it. Which, I don't know. Again, probably from luggage straps, I would think. Gear lever, yep, that's all cool. Left hand driver's peg, okay. As is the centre stand. Again, any any slides from this lot along here would take it. No, there isn't any. Pillion peg, like the other one, it's probably never been used. Um, certainly hasn't got any damage on it. Coming back here towards the end, a couple of tiny, again, a couple of tiny marks in this plastic. Very minor, it's what, 98, it's, 13 years old, it's not terrible, but um, a couple of tiny marks in that plastic there, from whatever, I don't know. And a different aspect on that rear boot, so which is probably about halfway through its life. Now I'm just going to go round to um, the other side now, put my hand over the exhaust if I can, so you can listen to the engine. And there we are, they don't really come much quieter than that. Sounds like your mum's sewing machine. Um, seat, which I haven't mentioned yet, is all good. There's no tears, no rips, no repairs. It's got a zip protector over the tank there. Top of the tank, it's all good. I mean, if there's stuff that I can see, I'm gonna point out. I haven't really seen anything, point anything out. Coming up to the clocks here, see, showing 38,000. Uh, and it's been data tagged. That's for uh, I don't know, 50 quid or whatever that costs these days. So there we are, 98 CBR 600 RRW.